Hey, this is Jamie, Useful Knowledge. So I just made this homemade soup in about 30 minutes. Now I call this wheat night soup. It's got simple ingredients. I use my home canned tomatoes. I use canned carrots, corn, and canned English peas. And I also use a pound of ground beef. You can use other ingredients such as if you've got some leftover roast beef or some chicken. That also tastes great and I've done that before. Stay tuned. We're going to show you how quick and easy you can make this homemade soup. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to put a pound of ground beef on the brown. Okay, so for meat, I normally use ground beef, but if I have some leftover roast beef or some chicken, that's really good in the soup instead of the ground beef. Okay, what I like to do next is, is to go ahead and put your quarter tomatoes. Now this is a quarter tomato that I canned. I can uh, every summer, and that's a quarter tomatoes. Now, if you don't can tomatoes, you can go to the store and buy your quarter tomatoes, and I usually recommend for someone who doesn't can, go ahead and get the diced tomatoes that's in the can at the store. Okay, next, what I want you to do is add some corn, as much as you want. I add English peas. Now some people, like our producer John, he didn't want to add English peas, he added some other vegetables. So that's what's really nice about this, you can add whatever you want. And I add some carrots. Now all this is pre-cooked, and that's what's gonna make this soup really quick to make. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn this on to about a medium. So just a note here, I used English peas out of a can, corn out of a can, and carrots out of a can. If you want to use fresh, that's fine. I use fresh corn a lot, but for the purposes of the video, I wanted to show you how quick you can make this soup out of a can. Everything needs to be pre-cooked. So if you use fresh carrots, make sure they're actually cooked before you put them in here. Okay, since that skillet's up to temperature, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down to a medium high. Okay, so this is for a quarter tomatoes. I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of salt, and I'm gonna put about a half a teaspoon of pepper. And of course, you can season it to however you like it. I like to put a sprinkle of powdered garlic in there. Okay, our ground beef is brown, so all we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it in the soup. Now this ground beef is very lean. If you've got a lot of grease, you obviously wanna drain it. Okay, we just put our ground beef in here and our tomatoes and vegetables just starting to cook. So we're gonna let this come to temperature and then we're gonna let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Okay, our soup has come up to the simmer point. We're just gonna let it cook here for like that for about five minutes and then we're gonna cover it and let it finish out for about another five minutes. Okay, while this soup is simmering, you can go ahead and stir it some. You don't have to stir it constantly, but I do stir it maybe every couple minutes. And that's just to make sure nothing burns on the bottom while it's simmering. Okay, our soup's been simmering for probably a little over five minutes and it's obviously up to temperature. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna turn this to a medium low. And we're gonna cover it. We're gonna let that sit like that for about five minutes and it'll be ready to eat. Okay, well this has been simmering for about five minutes with the lid on and it's ready to eat. So all we have to do now is eat some soup. And this will serve about three to four. So now, if you'll stay tuned, we'll show you what we do to put up leftovers. Okay, so what I like to do to put up leftovers, I like, I like to put them in a pint mason jar. And so our good friends at Ave sent us this canning funnel to try out. And it's a stainless steel canning funnel. It's perfect for something like what we're gonna do here. So all I do is you just load up the jar through the canning funnel. And this will, I'm gonna have about two jars left over here. Pine jar full, and Abe also sent us this mason jar lid, which is really cool. So you've got a, a tote, and your mason jar sealed. 
And what we've noticed is these work a lot better than some of those uh, white plastic lids because the white plastic lids will leak on you. So we hope you gain some useful knowledge on how to make quick weeknight soup and how to put it up and store it for the next day carrying it to lunch. Thanks for watching.